<laughs> it's too late. Gotta be cute with it. I'm gonna be chewing. I'm like, no. Mm -hmm. You make me want a piece of gum so bad. <laughs> you want one? Jordy, I want it yeah. here. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, you're so considerate. We're four hours away from each other. Period. Just a little quick trip. For some gum any day. Any day. Anyways. Anyway. Hi, everybody. <laughs> what's going on? What's up? A what it is. A what's, a what's up? up? Hey, hey. Got hey. In the cut. Got hey. <laughs> We are back with another episode, and we talk about Last Twilight. Episode three, season. What? What is this? This is season two. Oh, season two. Tell me season why. Three. What? Season three. Season three. Tell me yeah, why. I thought three. you were talking about episode three of Last Twilight, and I was like, "Girl, what?" No, <laughs> I meant to say this is episode three of season three of the Basic Chat. Last Twilight is the topic mm -hmm, for today. Mm -hmm. Last one that has been serving has been serving me down. Yeah, like that's why I listed as one of my like favorite like BLs, even though it's not even done yet because the tears in my eye flow heavy. Oh flow wait, heavy. hold on, we didn't what? even do our intro. <laughs> what are you talking about? Our intro. What intro? Our intro screen. Oh. That's crazy. <laughs> but like, I felt like it wasn't the time for it. We were, like, <laughs> on, we were touching on what we were talking about first. Nah, it's so new to me using these banners over here. So I was going to click the banner and I was like, wait, something spills off. <laughs> I shouldn't be clicking this banner yet. <laughs> Wait, it's like I mean you can click the banner. The banner can go up. Like oh, you're the yeah. controller of the banner. Yes, I know, so, but it felt like the timing was off there too, and I felt like something was missing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, y'all, we're gonna be talking about that pilot today. Yes. Um, yeah, it's it's such a good series, but mm -hmm. let's do the intro just so Alyssa can <laughs> go on. <laughs> Cause I was like, y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all know I'll forget. I will forget, and we will play the intro at the outro. Yeah, cause I felt like the intro should. I don't know. Time was just completely off for me. And <laughs> <laughs> but she said I was not feeling it. I wasn't feeling mm -hmm. it. But we were here last Twilight. Honestly, yeah. I was telling Jordy y'all last night that I watching last Twilight is making me want to go back and watch Jimmy when he was in Bad Buddy. I don't know why, yes. but like Jimmy from there to now, I'm just like this growth, this like, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. It's literally, I'm going to back. Speak. Hello, I'm be watching yeah. Why in a whole different light, rewatching it. <laughs> Ciao. Not me. Not okay. me the series. No, okay, but, not um, like, he was still trash, but. <laughs> no, it's just it's crazy to see Jimmy's growth from mm -hmm. when personally when I first saw him, he was on one of Jenny's vlogs because they went to the Jimmy? like institution. Yeah, they went to like oh, institution yeah. and then he walked out. Jim, y'all, Jimmy was out? brown. No, <laughs> he walked out of the building. To, what? Like, he out? Oh, okay. Him. Oh. <laughs> Because now you were saying it, how I heard it. I thought they were in the room to get, like, they were all in there together. Oh. And he just, like, dips. <laughs> like, why are you like, goodbye. <laughs> but I get it. I get it. Yeah. Hey. Um, <laughs> but, no, y'all, he was thick and brown back then. I was like, yeah. But, <laughs> no, it's just. It's so nice it's crazy to see the growth. Is Child. he, though? I don't know. Shut in my head. Anyways, so, <laughs> but no, like this this series, 
literally is Jimmy C. <laughs> they are working my heart. They are working it. <laughs> and you see, you see it. vice versa, because I like them and vice versa. Like yeah. vice versa, I was like, this shit is lit. They their chemistry, it was so everything. Good. I love vice versa. And then to see them here. And to see, like, it's like a different type. Oh, the emotions just are different. And it's like, ooh, like, it fills my heart. I was, telling, I was telling Alyssa the other day, I was like, I feel like Jimmy C is the ship that after we didn't watch all the messy and crazy drama, they just come in and swoop with the romance and the, mm-hmm. like, the, the heart break and the... Heartbreak. And the Trauma. <laughs> like they Trauma. swoop in with like the stories that just make you feel like alive. Yeah. They you make know? you feel feelings. Like I like when characters make me feel like you pull an emotion out of me. I like because mm-hmm. I feel more connected to the character yeah. in a way. And the fact that like every episode, especially with Mulk, like, oh, he tears my heart apart. Like I'm always fe- I just be feeling so bad for him. And it literally just breaks my heart. But I like that because I feel like I'm connected to him. Like, I understand him. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I feel, oh, he's doing such a good job playing that character. The way uh, the way he was crying outside the building, I was like, y'all thought he was crying. I was over here at my computer screen like. <laughs> like. He was like. <laughs> like. That shit clutching uh, that contract. Clutching it. Like, but we'll get to that. We'll, we'll get to yeah, that. We'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. Oh my god! <laughs> but but yeah, just like uh, they are, they always bring such high level mm-hmm. acting and emotions whenever they are in series, and I adore it. Mm-hmm. I can always count on them. I can yeah. always count on them. Like even yeah. from like. Obviously, vice versa was their first like series together. Mm-hmm. From there, I was like, "Oh, they are setting the bar high for themselves." Oh yeah. When it comes to, when it comes to what like whatever, it, like they, well, they're like acting. The way C is able to portray this character, mm-hmm. like this, to me is a challenge. Like being doing this character is like a challenge, and the way he is able. Mm-hmm to literally like bring it to life like you it's just it's really amazing to see how far they've come because i'm like you are killing this role like literally killing it and in one of the behind the scenes videos he said he Mm -hmm. actually went to a house of the blind and just Mm -hmm. kind of like interacted with people who actually have this ailment and yeah just so he could do the part justice Justice. and it wasn't Mm -hmm. it wasn't just like oh this is how I think blind people. So let me just go or, with it. Let me just go for See, it with it, you know. Actors. Period. Act- actors. 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 Like, There's some flavor on it. Actors. <laughs> <laughs> they did that shit. What's wait? What's what's celebrity entire da 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 da? Yeah, like. Da, and then it's like. Da, da, da. It's like. Forgive me, I'm blanking. Forgive me, because now I'm I'm confusing the two. I feel like because it's like it's like to say they're like super like celebrities. Yeah, it's like it's like Roy percent Tara or Tara Roy percent or something yeah. like that. Like a hundred percent actor. Like actor. that's what they are. Actor. And uh, I just love them. I love them so much. I like to go on my Delulu when I hear Jimmy C and like <laughs> think that think that Jimmy's last name is C and I'm like, oh my God, we're married. Cause my- <laughs> Get it? Yes, we got it, poopy. <laughs> yeah. He said, Anyways. period. Well, just so we can dive, kind of dive into the topics now. Dive in. Dive in. We're going to switch gears and get into Mulk and Day's relationship mm-hmm. because this relationship is the most beautiful thing <laughs> I have ever witnessed. <laughs> like, from the very beginning, I said it in my reaction when Mulk first met Day. I was like, oh, he's going to be the one 
to mm-hmm. pull day out of whatever this is like his funk almost mm-hmm. and get him to realize that there's still things you can do like you can do this you can do that like right. and get him to start enjoying life again like i was like it's gonna be him because yeah. it's, like, <laughs> it's like i for me i think it was more so mocha's there to confirm what they already knew about mm-hmm. him because it's like you can be this and this person and you know you can be this person but then yeah. people around you will literally like block anything you try to do mm-hmm. to be this person and yeah. so a, days like i know i can do this i know i can do this i might hello. never be able to see but i can do this I this, can do this, 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 this 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 hello mama over here mama over here like they know like and i understand it's out of concern Yes. You're a mother. We'll get to the mom later too. <laughs> it's, it's out of concern. Yeah. Like we understand because a mom's gonna be a mom regardless. Oh yeah. But days over here, like it's just one of my senses that's gone. I can walk, I can talk, I can touch a ear, I can hear, like I can do yeah. all these things, but it's like you see me as oh, he's blind, so he can't do nothing. Yeah, yeah. And Mok came in and was like, and they already was thinking like, oh, Lord, he's going to treat me like everybody else. Mok like, find your charger. He said, get up and get it yourself. That, when he said that, I was like, period. I was like, go get it. Go get it. They they was like, (laughs) oh, oh. He said, hold up. Like, Mok literally reignited that self-confidence that they used to have. He slowly but surely reignited, like being able to get him to rejoin his friend groups, like Mm -hmm. going back to like watch his sport that he used to love, like seeing his, Mm -hmm. like he did a lot of things. And that's why when like, we'll we'll get into her later, but when she was like, you don't take care of him well enough or or do you know how to take care of him? I was like, I feel like he is like, he's showing, but maybe to her, it's like he was just doing his job. But there are different ways to take care of somebody. Yeah. It's like, okay, yeah, mom, you're taking care of him financially. Per, yeah. But emotionally, you're lacking in the area. And that's the area that Mok feels she that She was honestly, very emotionally like, absent. Right. And I feel like they cherish that portion mm-hmm. a lot more than just like the money and stuff. He's like, yeah. like okay, you know. Yeah. Her, we we got this big house. We cool, you yes, but like you never make it into the holidays, no birthdays. You're always on a business trip. You're always doing this, 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 this. So mm-hmm. we still lacking. We're, we're lacking. We're lacking. We're still lacking. And I just love how, and we see we see how much of an impact mm-hmm. Mulk had on Day's confidence, like you said, even yeah. in episode eleven. Day was like, I'm going outside by myself, bitch. He and sure did. And it was fine. Yeah, he was fine. He was fine. And like, because he had that confidence to like mm-hmm. go out. And like, I did say, I was like, you could have took your phone. You did forget yeah. your phone. Yeah. But all in all, you did that you by did yourself. And I, you literally and I did how, it. I like how Mok did not like. Obviously, you can see in Mok's face, he's like, "Like, I wish you would took your phone, so I know where yeah, it's going." Yeah, but he on. didn't say it to him, right? Because he, he was knows. just like, "Hey, where were you? Like, you just took a walk." <laughs> he right, and it's it's seeing Mok constantly check himself and try not yeah. to make Dave feel like he pities him yeah. throughout the entire show. Like, yeah. because obviously, when when Mok kind of crossed that. Um, that bridge of oh i actually have feelings for this person Mm -hmm. it's easy when you cross that that bridge it's easy to start to pity something because you love somebody so much yeah but but it's like i feel like it's not necessarily pity it's just like that genuine worry that you would have for like your mother your brother is like i want to make sure you're safe not because you can't right protect yourself it's just i'm just worrying about you Cause even I got nervous when like he wasn't there. I was like, <gasps> yeah. Cause, like obviously we love this character. I'm like, like where what? the fuck is he? What is he? And I'm yeah. like, you automatically just like 
fight or flight. <laughs> yeah, like exactly. And it's like you see Malt constantly like trying not to make him feel yeah. good and just make him feel loved and yeah. feel like a normal person, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, which he is, but yeah. Yeah, it's just, my, it's my most favorite scene with that, like with him, like trying to understand, will always be after like that one big art when he was like, "You don't understand." Oh like, yeah, and Mook literally like took the whole day to try to literally put himself in Day's shoes, and I was like, mm -hmm. I was like, "Yo, this boy has a literal heart of gold. Like he is trying so hard." And that's that's the perfect example of. Somebody can have an outward exterior yeah. of like, like being obviously y'all see him as a bad boy because the clothes mm -hmm. he wears. Yeah. Um, he got tattoos. Obviously, yeah. he went to jail for Both like cigarettes. This, 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 this. He does this and that. Right. But like that's not who he is. Like <laughs> yeah, and he had he had. There's more mm -hmm. to him, and I I hate when people diminish like people or even characters to just yeah. like singular things. Like there's yeah. more to this man. Yeah. Even with um uh, even with even though like it's a different case, even with Vegas from Ken Porsche, mm -hmm. like there is more to that man than just like, you know, the crazy. He unfortunately never showed it to us hardly, but <laughs> yeah, like, and I mean, we we saw we saw some of it because like, yeah. obviously they had to build his story and like the thing between his him and his dad and his mom and stuff like that. But yeah. it's like, like, don't diminish a character down to just like one. Because you know. like, it was like with, with Vegas, it was like he had plenty of opportunities to choose like a different path. Never did mm -hmm. with Malk he always got in trouble because he was helping other people. Like that's his thing right. as a protector. He was literally protecting his friend and that's right. how he got into bullshit. That's like, they're, it's like, it's like, they're, they're, they're different. Not, not to like oh, bring up way. like, Pause. she is literally screaming at the door. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> She's getting kitty. Miss kitty cat. Jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh the crazy thing oh. is though like we like i hear her now <laughs> the crazy thing is though i hear her now but when the door closed i can hear her I was the only person that could hear her. She was literally like, y'all, my cat is my shadow. Like, that is my bestie. That is my bestie. If she cannot see me, she goes ape. <laughs> like, she goes ape shit. Like, <laughs> she said, no, because she came in. She said, Mrow. She said, girl, why? I'm Look, she said, where you been? Where you she been? Mad, she, she mad I'm sorry. Me. I'm sorry. Look. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah <laughs> but all in all Mook and Day's relationship is just yeah. so amazing to see mm -hmm. obviously like you know in episode 11 things fell apart we'll get into but, that later too we'll talk about it yeah <laughs> y'all y'all look look Ooh. let me tell y'all we got notes we got Top notes thing. we got things <laughs> We organized this we're, stream, okay? We're getting there. We're this shit is about to be take it to a next level, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we're setting we're the bar organized. high. <laughs> our thoughts, our thoughts are well, his are more organized than mine, but <laughs> we're getting there. <laughs> I'm crying. We're Yo, still I got there. what did whatever they stop saying ADHD, like ADHD. ADHD? My brain. What's up? Our cream. Our yeah. cream? Queen? What'd I tell y'all? Anyways. <laughs> she said our cream. Cream? Cream? Cream de la I was like, er? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. But to get more deeper into last Twilight, because, you know, she, I feel like she was a major point of discussion especially for episode what 10 i think yeah. no, no 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 was it 10 
Yeah, it was 10 when she like cut off everything. Oh yeah, shit. yeah. Because and I I could I low key could see like both sides because I could see where she's coming from. Like y'all, first of all, she didn't know y'all were going by yourselves. Second of <laughs> all, y'all were supposed to be back by a certain day, molt telling night. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he said <laughs> he put he pulled the cheetah girls on. He said the cheetah girls are unavailable. Skedaddle his ass up the mountain. Right. So, yeah, baby, let's go see this Twilight, okay? <laughs> so I could understand like her being like the fuck, like yeah. But there were some things I was like, sister, taking his phone. This is a grown man. <laughs> like, he I'm is like, full grown. But you know grown. what I thought about though? What when all that was happening? So there's like a bunch of studies on this. Mm -hmm. and how parents like work with their children and it's like it's um there are a bunch of studies that show that parents don't age their children past 16. it's like once you like like once you are an adult you could be oldest like dirt and they will still treat you like you're 16. like they're your little baby yeah they'll still like micromanage and they'll Mm -hmm. still you know like worry for you like they did when you were in their house yeah and so when i was like just listening to how the mom was interacting with day it's almost like because of this ailment she reverted him it's heightened it's heightened yeah like it's like like, he's he's not 16 he's like 10. yeah he's like yeah like eight eight, nine ten and he can't do a lot of things for himself and yeah it's so in that aspect, I understand how overbearing his mom became. Yeah. Because like I said, she's a she's a mother. She's she gonna mother. They're gonna, they're gonna worry. Like, and yeah. that's why I can't fault her for being upset. Like, yeah. Cause kind of like, um, well, you haven't seen Cooking Crush, but there's like a scene in Cooking Crush mm-hmm. with um Off's dad getting mad because his son is spending a shit ton of money. I'd be mad too as a parent. I'd be like, where the hell yeah. is this money going to? Like, and I'd be mad at the person that you're giving it to because I'm I like, what fuck are you taking X amount of money from my kids? So from a parent's perspective, I understand like her worry. I understand why she treats him the way she does because like, it's just, you know, yeah. that concern. I think the only thing I'm just like, that I was like, okay, girl, was yeah. like her pre-notions of Mulk when yeah. she met him. And yeah. it's like, it's like, girl, you, it was more so for me. It was like, girl, you were always in this position that you were in mm-hmm. before. Yeah. It's like, you were, you know, um, lower class, middle class, whatever, like the class, however the class or whatever yeah. in Thailand, but you were there before. Mm-hmm. So you understand that you only look the way you look and you only dress the way you dress because you have yeah. money. Yeah. And Mulk doesn't have the same luxuries as you. Mm-hmm. So it's like that preemptive, like that presumption that she had of Mulk. I was like, all right. But that was really the only thing that I was like, okay, girl, like calm down. She just sometimes feel like she projects sometimes yeah. onto Mulk, especially after we met Day's dad. Mm-hmm. It it kind of sometimes feels like because she's never able to be there and Mulk is always the one that's there and like how Mulk was there when Day had his last image and he even got to see his dad. I felt yeah. like it was a little bit of projection. Like you're really upset that which I, I can under like I understand you weren't you did it. You weren't a part of those moments, but I don't mm-hmm. feel like it's fair to make. Mulk almost feel like he has to jump through hoops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it feels like it's all... Because she was like, on one hand, she was like, I'm perfectly fine with, like, this or whatever. But then the next minute, she was like, I'm taking your phone. I am do- I was like, wait. I'm like, if you're okay. I was like, I get you're worried. You, But, like, it's getting to be too much. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like, maybe, maybe you should step back and, like, actually understand what your son wants. Yeah. And because, and Day brought up a really, like, that was the question that I feel like made her just 
go back and rethink how she's actually been treating Day. Mm-hmm. Because Day asked her in episode 10, and he, he was like, would you have acted this way if mm-hmm. I could see? Yeah. Would you have acted this way if I could see? Yeah. And she couldn't say anything. She was like, mm-hmm. and she was like, Day, listen to me. And then walk, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, that's always a parent's like default. It's when they've been like, clocked, whenever, when they've been clocked, when, Loki. <laughs> all right, when they've been clocked uh-huh. and you start to make sense as their child, it's like yeah. they default to, oh, they're being disrespectful. It's like, they're no. like, wait, wait a minute. I'm not, wait a minute. <laughs> they're like, hold up. You got me. You caught me. Disrespect. You, you figured it out. <laughs> He's like, what? What? <laughs> yeah. So, but like I said, she's she's just a mother being a mother. But I, I'm that. glad she's coming around. And I saw no, that episode eleven. I was scared. <laughs> like, well, because like, there was a I, moment. <laughs> in episode ten, at the end of episode ten, I saw in her face that she had made up her mind that she was going. But I yeah. do also think because she thought that day was going to be able to see again. Yeah, that's why she wasn't so like you know. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, she was like, she was like, he was like, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, it was my fault. And she was like, day. <laughs> and I was like, okay, fair girl. But like um, in episode, in episode eleven, they had like her and Mulk had that moment. That look, it yeah. was a small moment, a small yeah. moment, small. While he was having his surgery, and then when the surgery failed. I saw it in her face. I said, girl. <laughs> I was like, girl. But I think her seeing how happy Day is to see Mulk. Yeah. Like, I, I told you this the other day, like, while I was watching, because I was watching the episode while Alyssa was on the phone. <laughs> and I was like, I love how no matter what, when Mulk comes into the room and Day knows it's him, he's so happy. It don't matter if they had, like, a little... A little fight, whatever. Out here. He was excited. Yeah, because he knows like how much Mulk cares for him. And I think she saw that when she was looking at in the Mulk window. Taking of, yeah, taking care of Day in the window. She was like, Yeah. All right. Damn it. Oh. Ah, yeah. She she's was like, like, damn. Yeah. She said, Why can't you be like what I thought you was? God. She was mad. She said, damn. Now I gotta actually invite you in. Okay. She said, "Night, get your ass over there. Let me talk to this boy." God. <laughs> she said, "Move around, move around." <laughs> no, but I, I was living for the little cheesy answer that he that Mo gave. That she was cute as fuck. She was like, "That was cheesy as hell." <laughs> she was like, "She was like, I hadn't heard this same thing like fifty million times, but this time I believe it." <laughs> Oh my gosh! I like her mom, but but yeah. yeah, she she came around. That's all that matters. But yeah, I do I I do like how in episode um eleven mm-hmm. she is now treating. And at first, I had to think about it. At first, I had to think. I was like, is she doing this just because she really don't want Mulk and Day to be together? And then I was like, no, she's treated. She's she's come around to the point where she's like, all right, Day is his own person he needs to handle his own situations yeah so she let that instance happen and she left it into day in mulk's hands she's like i can't i can't teach him this this is something that they're gonna have to work through yeah like it's up to them like what situations like that we just oh (laughs) wait it's like this is an adult situation. They're in a relationship. Y'all gonna have these little spouts. Oh all my the time. god! When I have kids and they go through this, I'm be sitting there like, <laughs> <laughs> "Can't help me with this one." <laughs> I'm sorry. Because like, all I can do like, is watch from the sidelines. <laughs> right, and uh, and offer support when you need. Yeah, it, offer but... support, but I can't tell you what to do because this mm-hmm. literally is purely based off your feelings. Like, that's mm-hmm. why he was like, do you think what I did was right? Me, I was like, if you felt like it was right in the moment, then it was right. Like, how mm-hmm. we probably would have handled it may have been different, but it was right for you. So that's all that matters. Like, right. we can't tell you. 
Right. If it was right or wrong, and it's already happened. We'll talk so, about that. We'll talk about yeah, that. We'll that later. But enough on mama. But wait, we're we're at the halfway mark, so we don't have perfect to, anyways. We don't have a little jam break. Enjoy, Miss Natty from Kiss of Life and Sugar Coat. We'll be back in life. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, cat. That's right. That's right. But yeah, um, we'll be back in like 23 seconds. Bye. Boy, that's my song. I just noticed that she forgot to like take the mommy's recipes off. So oh. it, was like playing, it was like playing Natty. It was playing Natty Sugar Coat. And it said mommy's recipes. My bad. I, but I mean. <laughs> but anyway. Like she did mother. She did mother in that song. So. We are back from break. And we're about to get into my favorite topic. Step Daddy of the Year, a.k.a. Night, a.k.a. Po Jetty, Po Jetty, Po Jai's baby daddy. <laughs> Not Po Jetty. <laughs> Get out of here. Log off. Exit the chat. I meant to say Po Jai's new baby daddy. Ciao. No. This. Nice look- that that's my child. <laughs> No, I was laughing because when Knight first saw Pujai, yeah, I was like, I was like, my boy said, "You're pregnant." <laughs> he said, "Come here, baby girl." <laughs> he said, "Oh, your your baby daddy is trash. Come here, come here. Let me treat you right, child. He is the daddy that set the fuck up. Okay, so play with. <laughs> That's why they call him that. daddy. Ow. So play with Knight. I said, bro. <laughs> Okay. Um, that's crazy. Wait, wait. Side note. That's crazy. What? Is that where step daddy comes from? The daddy that stepped up? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> He's the dad that took the extra step. You... Per. He took one more extra step. <laughs> one, more. one more. But no, yeah. But what were you saying? I forgot. <laughs> Wait, what was I about to say? Mm. Shit. Mm. Oh, I don't know because like I feel like he was he I feel like he feels like now he can give somebody like love that he didn't necessarily get. Cause I feel like after that whole situation, the accident which mm-hmm. low key wasn't even on his phone. But <laughs> No. Ever since we'll accident, talk about it. We'll talk about it. We'll talk they, about it. They we'll, next. We'll, we'll talk about it. But ever since that accident, like he, you know, the love, the love was not giving to him. And I feel like he feels like he can protect something. He can like give the love. That's why he wants mm-hmm. to like be that person for Poor Jai, which I really feel and I don't mean that like in a bad intended way. Like I feel like he has good intentions. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's so cute. Like, I was like, ooh, wait. When they saw each other, the race, I was like, hold on. Nay, are you trying to get in where you fit in? <laughs> oh, Pug Dry and the Malt really, they really came up, didn't they, Lucky? Show D. He said, Lucky. girl. He said, girl, let me rub on that tummy, girl. Stop. <laughs> now let me, let me rub on it. Let me feel it. Yo, the ex Hold on. Hold on, Mok and Punjai were exes and they both dating brothers. Chow, ain't that some tea? That's gonna be a good story oh, to tell related. their kid. That's gonna be a good story to tell their kid. Mm-hmm. Your uncle used to be. <laughs> used to be homegirl's boyfriend. They didn't work out. So he used to be your, your mama. Uncle. He used to be your mama yeah. boo thing. And your, your other uncle, uncle, who is now your stepdaddy. <laughs> Like, like Uncle Mark went over here and <laughs> cuffed up with Day, and then <laughs> he cuffed up with Uncle Day. Jai over here with the brother. Uncle Knight is now Daddy. 
<laughs> she bitch, get it. Oh, you can't. Go <laughs> off. <laughs> Go off. But no, Everybody like, I really, I really, like, honestly and truly, because I was telling you earlier, I felt in my heart of hearts throughout the beginning, like, most of the episodes, I was like, I really feel like either Knight's issue is, like, he's not getting attention or whatever he feels left out or this whole thing is just like it's not what we yeah. think it was and i felt so, i used to feel so bad for night and when yeah. especially in episode 10 when like he was just sitting there and like i was like damn <laughs> i was like y'all just go eat his favorite meal in front of his face and i give him it was a build-up too it was a build-up too because right before that the mom was like, you know, I blame you for everything. I blame it's you. Your fault. And he was over there like, and then y'all took his meal. He's like, I don't know what to feel. He was like, I'm gonna go. My friends Yo, like that awkward yeah. uncomfortableness. He was like, I'm out. And I'm like, that's crazy. Cause like the the mom was real wild for saying that. <laughs> she was real wild for saying that. Real that wild. <laughs> because that thing was a whole accident. That was the biggest accident. First of all, they should have pulled over. Yeah. Should have pulled the fuck over. Wait, <laughs> like, so save it for the next. Okay, time. you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, we don't have I mean, a banner for that one. I gotta make. We don't even have a banner for that one for day. Do we? No. Oh, hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the good thing about filming on StreamYard, because, like, you know. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, so, but I really have been enjoying watching day and night step back into that brother role. It's yes. been so It's been so freaking cute, like, how they're teasing each other, like, mm. talking, sharing vulnerable moments, and, like, being there for each other. Like, I'm really enjoying seeing and I, night. I love, I love how just kind of I, you know what night is smooth honestly i would have fell for him too hell yeah first of all like, I, is smooth. Is right, right. <laughs> but the way night slid into his position as like your baby stepdaddy he was literally like that's my baby and then he got <laughs> to an appointment and then oh. he was like he was like i gotta meet my girl and she was like oh my bad where's your girl and he was like Thank right here you. He, he was like right here, Fern. Child like, said, "That's my child." Then, when your baby was born, who's the one helping you walk your baby down to his little examination, like as if he's a real daddy? Right. And who <laughs> names your baby? Daddy he really Knight. Slid, he really slid <laughs> into position. He did. He like, did that shit smooth, like you know, like in old R and B groups when the solo to like slide out. That's what he did. He did that smooth slide out. <laughs> he did. I'm over here he thinking said. baseball. He slid into base. No. Nah. <laughs> R&B groups. <laughs> when they slide out the mic, they be like. Right. <laughs> that was nice. What they doing? Um, Talk sexy that. Mm, da -da, da -da. It's a come here, girl. That's nice. If you don't know, that's nice. Yeah, Stepping into his nice. position. Stepping right. into his stepdaddy role. Ooh, girl, you got a good one. And me got herself a good little daddy. Purr. <laughs> <laughs> Purr. Okay, I had, well. I had what? to make sure my audio because I was scared. Like in the back of my head, I was like, I never switched my mic over to my like actual, like my professional mic. And I was just Dude. making sure that it was. But no, it, it it's it's it switched over. That's crazy. So I don't have to worry about it. So the audio is okay. <laughs> well, while we've been wanting to talk about this, because I need to get this off my chest, let's get into it. Night yeah. and day's accident. Now, look, <laughs> looky here, looky here. Before you fucking start, <laughs> look, looky here. This accident <laughs> was very much like Purely. I said, eighty twenty, eighty twenty. 80% day not doing his DD duties and 20% 20 night. night distracting him in the back with Roman. And before you come at us, don't. <laughs> don't. 
because if you ever, if you've ever been a DD before, you like I the reason why I say 20%, right? Is yes. because obviously like Knight incapacitated himself to he was he irresponsible. He was irresponsible. Yes. Like obviously. So now yes. you're, you know, people gotta pick up your slack. Yeah. That's the only reason I say 20%. But yes. you as a DD, if you did not want him to throw up in your car, you should have called a cab for him. Call a cab. Call a cab. You should have yeah. called a cab. You should have pulled over immediately. The amount of times we've seen people pull over in these series, like it ain't nobody's business, skirt, <laughs> skirt to the left. <laughs> like, you could have pulled over. You could have pulled the fuck over. Or three, fuck it. Get your car clean. Throw the fuck up. Like, just throw up. <laughs> yeah, it's like if, if you've Get ever been a DD. <laughs> right. If you've ever been a DD, you know. That the possibility your job <laughs> is to keep your eyes on that road because drunk people are going to be drunk. Drunk people are gonna drunk. You signed so, up for this when you decided to be the DD. <laughs> like, and, and that's I, that on that. I still for the life of me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, y'all, but still for the life of me cannot figure out why they bit down <laughs> while you still hitting the gas. <laughs> why? It's like I you cannot, your eyes and I know you're your panicking. Head. I know you're panicking. I'm sorry, y'all. That excuse can only go so far because mm-hmm. you're the one driving. It's not like yeah. he was in the back dying or something. Like he was literally yeah. just gonna throw up. Like, <laughs> and and that's why. And they further they further confirm that we all know it was mostly Day's fault that yeah. night because yeah. they even Day when he finally made up with Night. Mm-hmm. He was like, he was like, I was more so mad at myself because yeah. I was the cause of the accident. Yeah. Where, and but I didn't want you to blame yourself, and and like you started blaming yourself, so like they just like kind of was like yeah. went along with it, which was I'm like stupid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stupid question mark. Like he just kind of went along but with shit, it. Shit, if and, it works for you. <laughs> but he was internalizing that guilt, and so he yeah. was trying to project it on somebody else. He was lashing so he was out, like, yeah. Yeah. So, but it's like I'm glad they got to a point where they were like, okay, they was like, I know it's not your <laughs> fault. I know. It's okay, like, pat pat pat. <laughs> I've gotten over it. And right. to be honest, if we're being honest, Mulk was a part of that healing. Mulk yeah, got he to that point where he could forgive his brother for something yeah. he didn't do. Yeah. Y'all, but I'm like, sorry, when that when that accident happened, I was just, after it ended, I said, Because mm. in my head, I was like, I was, that doesn't feel like it was his fault. <laughs> yeah, like, when they started showing the scene, I was like, okay, like, did, okay, he's drunk. Did yeah. he drive? I don't think so. Yeah because they wouldn't have been there i was like well maybe he jumped up into the front seat and maybe like you know it is like, what it is and just it yeah and i was like no homie was just throwing up like throwing up in the back seat and you decided to bend down and take your eyes off the road for a good 10 seconds like a whole good day you went a whole half a mile <laughs> without looking <laughs> like, like a whole half a mile with the so, gas to the ground like <laughs> yeah so it it was nice to see like how they came around to each other and i felt so bad for night like i felt bad for him in the beginning because it's like no, none of his family seemed to see give him the time of day yeah but i felt especially bad after i saw that scene and how people mm-hmm. treat him and yeah. how he just avoids situations with his family because he's like i feel like they're constantly thinking about what i did yeah, like and, he feels unwanted. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and so, like, going back to your point, like, him feeling unwanted by everybody, and it was it was very on brand for him to want to give love to somebody who, who needs was it. receiving it as well, because, yeah. Yeah. you know. It's like he wanted to be somebody's, he wanted to be the hero to mm-hmm. somebody that he felt he was supposed to be today. Because yeah. he was like the older brother, like all oh, that was supposed to be his role or whatever. Mm-hmm. And to him, he didn't fulfill it. But now, like, 
he's found it in poor Jai. Like, he's like, oh, I like this girl. Like, I want to protect her again with good intentions. Like, I don't want to make it sound bad. Like, yeah, good like intended. he's like, you don't like, want to make he, it sound like he, he has needs to a... feel a void or something. Like, it's not like a void. I just feel like that's just the type of person he is. Kind of like Mulk. How Mulk loves to protect and help people. That's just the person he mm -hmm. is. And yeah. he wants to give the love that he has inside of him to somebody else who needs yeah. it. So, but I'm glad they got they got to where they were. So yeah. just, everything's good in the world now. Maybe well, not everything. But not everything Maybe. So should you stay or should you go? Now, this is my whole take on that entire I hate shit like this that right? happens. I hate shit like this. Go off. <laughs> First, I do hate miscommunication and I do hate yep. purposeful miscommunication. That yep. shit. Well, grinds like, my gears. Grinds my gears. But in the back of my head, I understand. I'm like, you are very much like new to like this type of relationship. Mm -hmm. I get it. Also, you hold the pity thing of at a very high pedestal as far as like not compromising who you are. You're like, ain't nobody gonna pity me. Yeah. And that's why you read. Um <laughs> but <laughs> As far as day goes, I do not agree with how he handled that situation. No. I understand him. Yeah. I understand him. Yeah. But I do not agree because this is a person's entire emotion mm -hmm. that you're dealing with. And the fact that um Mulk sat there and said the reason Gave why you I a reason. That down, yeah. Right. The reason why I turn this down is because what happened to my sister. It's not that I yeah. pity you. Yeah. It's that I care for you so much that I do not. I can't do I, it again. <laughs> I can't leave you right. At least right now, yeah. I cannot I leave you right now. Yeah. I do. And again, on Mork's side, I do understand how Day felt like he pitied him because yes. of how he responded to Night. Yes. And Night was like, well, it's it's fine. It's fine. We'll be and here. Like, well, and um, Mulk was like, well, you're not going to be there all the time. Because yeah. I would have even like, so you pity me. Like, in yeah. my head, I would have pity And me. that's when he went um, to the story. He was like, last time I wasn't there, I missed a phone call. And my right. sister literally took her own life, like, right after mm -hmm. that. So right. it's like. <laughs> yeah. It's and different. obviously, obviously, Mo like, it made Dave feel some type of way that Mulk like re um redacted that information yeah. and decided to lie to him not only like didn't yeah. you tell him but she lied lie. to him you, you, know, lie. you lied to him about it so that was that was a bad that didn't help your case at all no it didn't yeah because i even said in my reaction i was like you should have just told him you got it yeah. and been like yeah you are low-key the reason <laughs> like, like i don't want to go now but it's because of xyz <laughs> Right. It's because we are new to this like relationship. Yeah. And I worry for you because of like you said, XYZ, this is what happened to me. So yeah. I don't feel like it's my time to go abroad and be the chef and stuff like that. Because who knows and, how long he would be gone. Right. Who knows how long he's gonna be yeah. gone? And I saw like a little bit of discourse about Day breaking up with him because he wants him to pursue his dreams. And I'm like that, 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 I, I honestly, I can't get that, behind that. I don't I understand that it. whatsoever because it reminds me of another example of that was a boss and a babe, how mm. it's like, you're making, you're playing in my mind is like playing with somebody's emotions because you could have easily had a conversation and been like, you could have told me this like mm -hmm. i want you to go like say with mulk telling you why he doesn't want to leave tell him mm -hmm. i want you to go because this is a good opportunity for you to xyz blah 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 yada 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 not literally be like well we're breaking up and right. then because and then hope and hope and pray that they sublimity like see your subliminal message that it's like i want you to do better yeah. like no yeah. <laughs> it's it's like whenever people do that it's like you're playing puppet master with someone's yeah. life because you're it, you're you're no longer letting that person make the decision for themselves. No. You are making a decision for them. You took you the option up, from them. Right. You broke up with him. If if that was the case, you broke up with him in order to force him to go overseas, which 
he probably even if you were not in the picture, we don't he know. Probably he probably wouldn't want it to. Do. <laughs> like he might not have even taken that opportunity anyway. Yeah. But you being there was another reason for him not to take that opportunity. But and that doesn't make it a bad of, thing. That's not saying he's yeah. ruining his future. Maybe he decided he wanted to do a different path with it. Maybe right. he wanted to stay a little longer and get better at his craft because he said that people are at a higher caliber than he is. He's not there mm -hmm. yet. There's a lot of reasons I don't like breaking up. It it is and will always be the most extreme thing to me like mm -hmm. especially with the situation this because i'm sorry y'all the situation was small it was a small deal it was not that big of a deal in my opinion to take it that far yeah. <laughs> like it could have y'all could have argued got that out but breaking up that was it was too far <laughs> yeah breaking up it was it was very it was the most extreme case yeah. And that's why I'm glad the mom said what she said. She's like, you have to handle this by yourself because yeah. it's like, it's out of my hands. Regardless of what I think, it's like what you guys think is best for your relationship. Yeah. And, and, uh, and it's like now's, now's not the time to think about the what ifs. <laughs> Mook outside against them really nice books crying right out. Crying like, his eyes out. Because this is the thing. This is the thing. He did what he did because he does not want to lose you. But then you took yourself away from him by breaking up. So, so he lost the like, right. He lost, he lost you lost anyways. <laughs> he lost you anyway. He lost his sister, mm -hmm. like, because he had no control over that. Then he loses you. And you like, have full granted, control over that. <laughs> You have full control over that, which, mm -hmm. okay, again, he did lie and stuff like that. So that's what led ultimately was the catalyst of the whole situation. Yeah. But in a relationship, you can't just be like, oh, when something gets hard, I just want to break it off. Like, yeah. Or just like it. make decisions for both parties. Like, it's right. just, it seems so unfair, so selfish. Like, and why are you the mm -hmm. tie version when Tudor had that conversation with Fighter's dad? And instead of telling Fighter what mm -hmm. his dad said and giving Fighter the opportunity to prove to you that, like, I'm in this, like, don't listen to my dad. Like, you literally took it from him and just like, broke up with him. Didn't awesome. say nothing, said nothing to him, started mm -hmm. being a complete asshole. And I'm like that's not fair. You're playing with somebody's emotions and you thinking, well, maybe if I'm really, really mean to him, he'll yeah. go. Like, no, what you're going to do is being really, really mean, forcing these people to go is you're playing with your relationship because who knows if he's going right. to come back to you. Right. Because he may be like, well, shit, I'm out here. I have nothing back there. Like, we're already broken up. Like, what am I? He could. You never know. Like you could have really right. pushed this person into somebody else's arms. You never know. Right. Thinking you're doing the right thing over a small argument, a small. Yes, he lied, but it was a small, small. It's being, something. It's, small it's something <laughs> that had a solution that was very much attainable. Yeah. It's not like it was something where like the solution is out of reach. And so y'all need to right like break there. up. It was right there. It was right there. And as simple as communication mm -hmm. as, but I do, I I can't, I think, I think their name is Freddie on TikTok. I think their name is Freddie. If I find their TikTok, I'll like put it in the video. Mm -hmm. But they were talking about um, how uh, it is, how do I say this? Um, it, they were talking about how day, um, I, I, like, I, I literally like, I'm forgot. Scared. Well, I'm, like, I'm scared. What did they say? <laughs> I completely forgot what they said. Oh my god, I had it in my head, and then y'all know day. when like somebody is building suspense, and, like in a movie, the background music starts to rise. When I tell y'all, the background music in my head was rising. Like I was like, "What did he say?" <laughs> oh my god, I lost. Because you were it like, "I don't wild. know, I don't know how to say this," and I was like, 
Is it bad? I'm like, what? No, 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 no. Because, like, I literally, um, I literally, like, had it. And I was like, I don't know how to, like, say it in my own words. Yeah. But, like, hold on. <laughs> I do feel. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, I remember. Oh, go ahead. Okay, so they were talking about how um, they think that it was such a ball drop to have them have this um this fight right mm -hmm. and they were talking about how the characters had such an amazing relationship and such a healthy relationship building up to this point for it to be this for, for it to be this and i was like i kind of agree with that stance but also i kind of disagree because yeah. I think that the fact that Day is a very impulsive person. Yeah, so it's kind of right it, on brand. It, <laughs> it fits. It fits. Mm -hmm. Day is a very impulsive person. And then also, he, pity is his thing. That, like, yeah. everybody has their thing that they're like, I will not compromise if you do this to me. Mm -hmm. And Day's thing is people pitying him. Yeah. Um, and so when that came from the person who he thought loves was the, the most. only person, he loves the most and was one of the only people that came into his life that literally did not pity him from jump. Mm -hmm. And he was like, we went from here to here. Yeah. And this is where you want to start pitying. And so like, I was like, well. Especially because he gave him an opening to tell right. him. Yeah. Right. And I was like, I was like, I do agree that it was very like, dang, like y'all, like y'all made it this <laughs> yeah. in episode 11. But yeah. at the same time, I'm like, I can't fully say that that's not how they would have done it if it, it was were a different an actual way. thing. Right. Like, yeah, they could have they could have made it um, this whole thing and then they could have like talked it up like, oh, I'm sorry, Emma. But it probably would have still like been the same end result with him. It would have been the same end result, and I feel like it would not have been very true to the characters. No. And which I that... wasn't even like, it feels like you have to look at this, like, through mm -hmm. his eyes. That's why I said in my reaction, if you felt like it was right, it was right. Because for me, it wouldn't have gone down mm -hmm. like that. And I feel like a lot of people are looking at it like, if it was them... <laughs> Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, that was like, why? But like you said, like, this is on brand for him. So like for it to go any other way, as much as like it grinds my gears and I feel like you should have talked it out. He's probably not the person mm -hmm. to talk it out. He's the person right. like this side though right now. And this is what <laughs> this is what it's going to be, no matter right. how much I disagree with it. <laughs> right. So it's yeah. but but yeah, but that's how we feel about episode eleven. It was about last a Twilight in the hole. It it like oh man, oh man. I was like about I was so, I was like oh this will be the episode I'm gonna cry. And then when he said break up, I said ah. I was like whoa because to be honest, to be honest, I wasn't expecting a breakup. So yeah, me I either. Thought, like like and I guess that might be like supporting. Um, Freddie's stance of this doesn't make drop. any sense. Yeah. yeah, it was a ball drop. Yeah, but I think that yes, I wasn't expecting it, but also I can't say that that wouldn't have been what something happened? that you yeah. know would have happened. So because I thought the most, know. I thought the biggest issue was going to be the surgery fail. Yeah, and that was it. Like, but you know what? I had to think about it too because I was mm -hmm. like, they put that in part one. Yeah, it was done early for a reason. And then them going on this cooking event was done for a reason. And so really, it came as expected. We just didn't expect it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we thought we thought P. Off was gone. He was playing us. He was <laughs> playing us. He, in the background. Right? <laughs> he said, send the script through. Thank you. <laughs> Oh but, but yeah, but tell us what you guys think mm -hmm. about Last Twilight, specifically episode 11. Yeah. Like, do you think it was a ball drop? Do you think it was on brand? Mm -hmm. What and what, like, would you have changed about it? What have you, yeah. if you could have differently? 
Yeah, if you could have changed the ending, what would you have done? <laughs> what yeah. would you have done? I'm really, I'm right. curious to know. And yeah, yeah, make sure you, oh, thank you. I forgot to cut it off again. Make oh, you're sure. welcome. I got you, friend. I got you, bestie. <laughs> Y'all, I'm new here. I just started. <laughs> <laughs> I'm new. <laughs> yeah, I'm I new just got here. here. I just but, work yeah. here. But yeah, make sure you follow all the socials, Twitter, threads, mm -hmm. YouTube, of course. If you literally sat here and watched this whole hour video and you are not subscribed, <laughs> that's crazy. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's it for this group chat. We'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Let's see if we can do the thing and like get out before it ends. Period. <laughs> Bye. This is the true test. Bye.